Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you Page Review, which is on a lifetime deal right now. It's only $29, and I don't often say this, but I think this deal is a no brainer. You should get this because it's easy to use, it's cheap, and it's pretty useful. Now, what it does, it lets you collaborate with team members on what needs to be changed on sites. Now, the cool part about it is you don't need to install anything, no WordPress plugin, no coding, it just jumps to that site and you can make the notifications. And not only does it no make notifications, it actually makes the changes on the site. So if I wanna change the background color, if I wanna change the image, if I wanna change what it says, it actually changes it visually so you can see it and make that annotation. That way, your other team that's a developer who's gonna actually make the changes, they visually see what's going on. It's not like other plugins or codes that you, it, it only tells you that notification on what to do or you make a screenshot, no, it makes the change. So guys, let me jump into my desktop and show you the deal and show you how it actually works. So let's jump over there. This is the deal I was talking about and it's only $29 for a lifetime deal. And if you guys would like to support me, use that link in the description. It helps me out with a small commission to keep on buying deals and make videos for you guys. So I'm gonna tell you what I like and dislike about this deal right now. So let's jump over to the plan section of what you get with the $29. And first off, what I like about it is that you get three users with this lifetime payment. Now I know I wish we had more users, but at least they didn't tie you into one user and may you pay, make you pay for the rest of the users. So three is okay for $29. Um, I dislike that they only give you one workspace. That means you can't organize. Everything goes into one single workspace. Now, the good part about it is that you can use any page inside of there. You're not tied into one single site. So you can add as many sites as you want with that workspace. And you get unlimited comments, unlimited mentions, and just all of this for that price. Um, I dislike that you don't get branding removal or custom links with it. So that's something that you can't do, right? But again, like I said before, $29, you can't complain a lot. So let's jump over to my dashboard. This is the page review dashboard and there's not a lot going on in the analytics. You only have the information, for example, workspaces, which I only have one because that's what I paid for AppSumo. And you get, I got three pages added right here and I have seven comments added. So that's just random there. It's inside of that workspace and that's the info you get. So let's jump over to the good part. This is the workspace and I'm gonna open it and you can add the link from any site right here to make annotations. So I don't have to install anything on anything, any site. I don't have to install any WordPress or any code or just anything. It's easy to use. So I'm gonna give you this example. I'm gonna grab AppSumo site. Um, I don't own this site. Um, I just wanna say, you know what? I wanna give you suggestions, but this could be my site that I'm building, developing right now, and my team members can give me suggestions based on it. I'm just gonna use this link because I wanna show you how flexible it is. So this is AppSumo's site and it opened up in a new page and it opened up the widget for page review. So now I can make annotations on it. So I'm gonna grab this little selector mode right here. I'm gonna click on it and now I can hover over something and just say, for example, this. You know what? I don't like that. And I would say, I suggest you change this, right? And the cool part is right here, add modifiers. So for example, text. Right now, this is what it says, and I'm actually gonna update it. So I'm gonna tell it to say, um, user cases, all right? So I should say that, and we're gonna add this text, and we can do more. So for example, if you wanna change the background image, you can do it. Um, the color, so the color of this, I should say, let's go with a bright red because we want people to see it. Let's add that color there. And how about, let's do, just do it for fun, the background. You can choose an image from a link or change the color. So I'm gonna go with black, all right? I know that looks nasty, but this is just for testing purposes, okay? And we can also change the font if we want. We can change the height, so for example, you know what? We need more space here. We need the space, add that space, man. We just add that there and we can change the height, the width, the margins from the right or the left, the opacity on it, the position, the filters, and the text alignment. So let's just say, you know what? You should go center with this, all right? To center and add that and we're gonna create that suggestion. So that's created. And let's go into, uh, what else? This, all right, let's go another section right here. We're gonna click on it. You're gonna say, hey, dude, up the price. So maybe it's too cheap. So we're gonna change that and we're gonna say, you should sell it for 49. No, that's not actually true. I wish they would sell it for cheaper. And we're gonna create that. And we could do more. And we could do, for example, add page to the workspace. So let's just say if you were using this with one of the, the Chrome extensions or I think Safari also, 
you can add it from the workspace from there. So you just open the Chrome extension and add it there. So I'll, if I want to see comments, I'll click right here, click this click, and we can also see the comments. If I click right here, it's going to go to that section. Now, this is what I see, right? I added the annotations. The users can actually see this. If you add a user to invite them, you can actually see all this. So let me go back into page reviews. Let me refresh it. And we have the annotations right here. So let's just say we're going to go to copy this URL. And let's just say this is not a, a user is not going to see this. It's going to be a random person. So I'm going to click right here and I'm going to load it in incognito mode with alongside with the widget. All right. So I can view the comments that were made right here. So if I click on it, it goes to that section. So if I click there and it actually does the section. So this one is the one I made. It's not the recent one, but as you can see, I can hover over it and it will show me the actual change visually. So this is super, super useful to save time when you have a developer doing some changes. So it's faster and quicker just to have those annotations there. So that is what someone would view if you share the link with them. But if they were a user, obviously I'll go into this one again. I'm a user. I get all the options again to keep on selecting, viewing the comments. And what about these comments? So let's just say, I can reply to that person right here. I can mark it as resolved. So let's just say I'm a developer. I made the changes and it's done. And I can also edit if I want. So let's just say, you know what? Those changes look really nasty and they actually do look nasty. You can modify it right here. So you can trash the changes and you can make your own and just update it. So super easy and super fast. You also have the show page panel. You can share it and you can show the cheat sheet. All right. So it's super easy to use. I mean, what I love about it is you don't install anything on any anywhere else. Now, if you want to add profiles, you add them from here, the, the users, and you can see the plan, which is nothing interesting and the invoice because they're actually there. And like I said, it's not Safari. So it's Chrome and Firefox. So that means you can be navigating on any site and just open the Chrome extension and add the annotations and add them to your workspace. Super fast and super easy. Now, if I want to add a users to these workspaces, you can delete them or grab them from these users. So I just deleted that one or I could add Mr. Dry Waterfall again to this workspace. So once they create their account because they're invited, they will see this in their workspace and they can work on it. You can give them moderator access or the admin access also. So Ben, easy to use. Like I said before, it's cheap. It's easy to use and it's useful if you're working with team members. Now, I wish I could use this with clients, but I don't think that would be really easy for them. I mean, if I want to use something like this, they would I would have to create the account for them and show them what they have to do. Maybe a small video so they could use it that way. But I would see myself using this more with my team members than with a client to make those changes really quickly. But there you go. I mean, super cheap easy to use and I think you shouldn't miss this. I think this is a no brainer and you should grab that deal. Well guys, I hope you like this video. Like I said before, that link, it's an affiliate link. If you guys would like to support me, that gives me a small commission. And if you guys are not subscribed, please consider it. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.